In comparing Kubrick and Scorsese's films, we found out a lot about each one of them as directors. Both Kubrick and Scorsese both use great camera and film techniques, such as panning and zoom. Kubrick and Scorsese also share the same love for the same genre of film, mostly focusing on the darker aspect of the human psyche, such as murder scenes, crime investigations. Kubrick is best known for his works A Clockwork Orange, The Shining, and 2001 A Space Odyssey. What you are currently watching is clips from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Kubrick is focused on details and perfection. If the shot is not done perfectly, or if it's not smooth, pan isn't done correctly, it'll be reshot and it's not used in the final movie. In fact, on set, Kubrick was known for being very anal retentive and very tedious in his shots and the setup of his scenery. Kubrick likes slow, long panning shots and hardly ever does fast cuts. Some of his shots last 15 minutes. Kubrick has won an Oscar and 38 other awards and has been nominated 48 times. However, Kubrick didn't really seem to gain popularity and recognition until after his death, where his movies have now become more of a cult classic. Scorsese was known for more recent films such as Goodfellas, Shutter Island, and even Hugo, which we saw in class. Scorsese uses more quick edits for a more dramatic type of film and does not use long shots often. A lot of his shots were all that set up long versus Kubrick's, which were a lot longer. Scorsese's movie, Goodfellas, can linger with you for days after seeing it because it relates to real life, such as crime, gangsters, police, violence. Kubrick, however, tended to stay away from mafia and organized crime style movies, and while dealing with crime, tended to deal with a more dark and misunderstood version of it. Scorsese tends to use the same actors in a lot of his films, such as Raging Bull and Goodfellas, which features Robert De Niro as the main character, and co-starred Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci ended up winning Best Supporting Actor for his performance in Goodfellas. Scorsese has won an Oscar and 111 other awards and has 111 nominations. Obviously, comparing those statistics, it would appear that Scorsese is a more recognized director. But don't get it wrong. The style each of these directors have is just amazing and they both have extremely talented camera skills. While the content of the story that Kubrick told usually was odd or strange, he did a masterful job of presenting a beautiful picture and work of art, which is why most of his works have become instant classics. This is the kind of camera trick footage that Kubrick was best known for. Scorsese tends to keep his editing more low-key and traditional, but his stories have ridiculous plot twists and always keep you on the edge of your seat. Both of these directors offer a magical experience, and I'd recommend seeing any of their movies. Although I will warn you that Kubrick's tend to be a little bit more risky or raunchy, should we say. Scorsese's tend to be a little bit more violent and foul-mouthed. Really, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and it would be tough to argue that either one of these directors are bad at what they do. While Kubrick offers a more visual ride, Scorsese offers a more psychological one. Both of these directors encapsulate what it is to experience going out to a movie. They have provided a medium of art and expression. They without a doubt show their expertise in the art that they make. And we can only hope that future directors and producers continue this art form and legacy and American film continues to be as groundbreaking as it has been. Take a minute and just watch this tape. It really is amazing how this was filmed. What you were just watching was all Kubrick. 
We have come to the realization that we like Kubrick better because of his uniqueness and his willingness to take risks. More importantly, out of all the movies we watched, The Space Odyssey was the best. We have mashed together a bunch of clips from films of Kubrick and Scorsese so you can decide for yourself, and that's what you're going to see now.
know Olivier, you'd be fortunate already, you would say that the thing ain't the ring is to play. So give me a stage where his bullhead can rage, and though I can fight, I'd much rather recite. That's entertainment.